Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Microsoft has rolled out a new Insider Preview build to the beta channel yesterday on the 30th of September, which comes with the update KB5043166 and bumps the build up to 22635.4291. Now just a quick overview as to what's happening in the beta channel, if you are interested or maybe you find yourself as a beta insider. First of all, um, there are two improvements rolling out to the task manager, which are on a gradual rollout, where Microsoft say they've updated the design of the disconnect and log off dialogues in task manager to now support dark mode and text scaling. So that's just bringing the whole UI and making that a little bit more consistent and bringing some of the legacy uh, UI features in line now with the um, kind of Windows 11 design. And something I've posted on previously is in the performance section, Microsoft have now labeled listed disks with their type. Now, I'm not going to get into that too much because I've posted a whole video on that. And I'll leave that link down below and in the end screen. So in the stable version, you just get SSD. But now in the beta channel, you actually get the top of the SSD as an example. But go check that video out if you'd like some more info. So that's two improvements rolling out to the task manager. Now, if we head to settings and we head over to the privacy and security page, diagnostics and feedback and tailored experiences, Microsoft says that for the beta channel now, tailored experiences is becoming personalized offers in OOBE, so it's getting a name change, and um, personalized offers, they say, will let you opt out of allowing Windows to use info about your device and how um, Microsoft uses them to enhance Windows. So basically, tailored experience, now getting a name change, personalized offers in OOBE in the beta channel. Now, fixes that are being gradually rolled out, just to mention two of these which are quite important. They fixed a few issues which could cause explore.exe to crash, which is the shell of the OS, including one causing sporadic explore.exe crashes when using Alt and Tab. And Alt and Tab, as you may know, just gives you a quick a run through of minimized apps you may have uh, in the actual um, background. So that has been fixed now, which was causing a problem in recent builds, which I think is an important fix. And then they also fixed an issue where if you clicked or tapped on a letter on Start Menu's All Apps list, the All Apps list may break and not display correctly. So those are two fixes that are quite important, which are gradually being ro rolled out. Now, fixes that are available as of now, there are six uh, fixes rolling out under the hood just to bring general stability uh, to the beta channel and to Windows 11 in that flight. Then we also get two known issues because in effect um, beta is still a preview build. And then another big update with this one, which I have also posted on previously, um, is the update to the snipping tool, which now introduces the ability to change the folder that original screenshots and screen recordings are automatically saved to. So you just go to the app settings in snipping tool and you select a new default folder to try it out. And I posted a whole video on this, so I'll leave that um, also linked down below and in the end screen. And the version upgrade for the snipping tool to get this feature is version 11.2408.15.0 and newer according to Microsoft. So guys, that's more or less um, what's new in this week's latest beta channel build, 22635.4291. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.